Joining me right now, Michael Field is with us, European Equity Strategist at Morningstar. Thank you for being with us. So what's the landscape right now? How are the markets looking in Europe at this moment? So I think I think the main kind of takeaway is that European markets are looking slightly cheaper than the US markets at the moment, which might provide some bright spots for international investors. But um, the picture isn't completely rosy. It kind of differs across the sectors. So you, you do have to be quite nuanced at the moment of what you're investing in. So the ECB, we're waiting here at home, uh, right, for the Fed to cut rates. I think a lot of people were anticipating many cuts at least more than three, the market priced in. Now we're lucky uh, if we're going to get two or one. Tell me a little bit about the ECB. Are you expecting some cuts there? How likely is that? So if I looked at the Reuters had a poll recently and it was expecting 90% of economists were saying that the first interest rate cut for the ECB would be in June. We had a statement today that looks to kind of reaffirm those views that June is going to be the first rate cut for the ECB with potentially three rate cuts this year. So I think, look, again, you know, the Federal Reserve are doing what they're doing at the moment, but the economic picture is completely different in Europe. So it looks like that the paths might diverge for some while. When we look at the sectors in Europe and folks may want to be buying into some of the companies doing well there, where are you seeing sectors uh, that could be poised for a win, some strength? So there's a few kind of sectors that have been somewhat overlooked in recent quarters. Um, consumers, one of the big ones, obviously, you mentioned earlier there, the likes of, you know, Anheuser-Busch or companies like this. Um, consumers have been kind of cash strapped for quite some time. Inflation has eaten into how much they can actually purchase every quarter. Um, so as interest rates fall, um, you know, inflation's fallen at the same time. That might ease the burden on consumers and might be a boost to that sector, just, just to name one, for instance. Yeah, understood. Um, when you look at some companies, let's name some names uh, that people may have been focusing on, such as ARM. Your thoughts about a name like that? Yeah. Yeah, so we, we released a report just last week on ARM. Um, it's been, you know, with NVIDIA in the US, you know, Europe's very much been looking for an answer to NVIDIA and looking for kind of a, a European firm with large AI exposure that they can kind of get their teeth into. And, you know, to a large degree, ARM has been that stock. Investors have really jumped on it. If you've seen the share price there on the screen, um, and it's it's going up massively every time they kind of have some results and they they drop the word AI and orders into the into the statement. But uh, we're quite contrarian on the stock at the moment. Our fair value estimate is just kind of fifty seven dollars, which is less than half of what it's trading at today. So while we think the stock has good growth prospects, it's in a very interesting space. It's not quite Nvidia when it comes to that level of growth that you're seeing. That's amazing because it's trading at 127 today. It's off the high of 164. It's had an incredible six months being up 128%. So to have it come down to $57, um, shareholders are, are going to you know fall off their chairs if they see $57. In the meantime, how about a name like Anheuser-Busch? That's probably one that's more uh, down to the earth level that we like at the moment, I think. So Anheuser-Busch, we see pretty good upside from there. Um, our fair value estimate is, is 85 for that one. So some pretty good upside from where we are. And again, that story is a bit more um, easy to understand. Essentially, you know, they've been through a period of large acquisitions. They've had high levels of debt. Um, you mentioned earlier, you know, which companies are going to benefit from interest rate decreases. Well, this is this is one right here. Um, that high level of debt's been costing a lot for them to service. But as they start paying down that debt and the interest rate costs fall as well, they should start to benefit. And, you know, you can throw on top of that as well inflation falling, which should reduce their commodity costs that they've been trying to pass through as well. So a number of factors influencing that one there. Yeah, understood. Well, it has this upside potential because trading at 59, your fair value is 85. So thank you for that. Michael Field, great to chat with you. Thank you of Morningstar. Appreciate it. Good luck. Thank abroad. you.